How many times I gotta hear this? The brick on the outside is not only not finished, it's falling off. Yeah, it falls off regularly. The problem here that I see is there's no enforcement. No one has stepped up to the plate and said, get your butt back in this house, finish it, fix it, and then you'll get your money. No one. More cracks. <laughs> As we continue, we're gonna see more. All the way around the house, right? Yep. yep. Another crack. Yep. yep. Here, it's falling out. Oh yeah, that's like, yep, there you go. It's a great, great product. Very poor installation. Okay, go ahead. Now, now that sucks. That really sucks. This is a joke. That's a joke. I'm sorry, that is a total joke. It's a shame because what we are seeing is good products. We see the hardy board, we see the concrete board, we see proper seal with the tar yeah. paper. It would have been nice to see a tie, a tie yeah. par, but at least the tar paper's in. A nice adherence within the stone to the concrete board. The problem is, is the concrete the board. board. Yeah. It's not adhered to the wall yeah. strong enough. This is the stone that you've supplied for us, right? Yep, this is the one, Chardonnay Alpine. Uh, I like this, it's a little different. If we're gonna change it, I would like to do something different. And this now, what I'm seeing is that we don't have a total pure streamline in here. So I'm gonna assume we don't want the mortar here. We're gonna bond it from the back, ooze it a little bit so it just seals the backside. Right? Exactly right. Wait for this is not the drywall you were talking about, is it? Yep, this is drywall. Well, DRI wall. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's not drywall. <laughs> no, it's not drywall. But what I like about it, that's not metal, that's uh... No, it's just like a gnarly plastic product and it gives you that, that, that barrier airspace in the back. Put up the mesh, shingle nails. Shingle nails, the hole on the left. Recommended yep. what length? Uh, you just want to penetrate the studs. So if you're about an inch, three quarters, two inches, you'll be fine. Oh, see, I'm happier the longer the better because yep. I want it in there. I don't want to just touch it. So that's good. Once we're at that, we'll put up our first parge coat. Yep. Now these guys installed this when it was minus 21. Am I correct? It was pretty cold. I don't know the temperature. But anything yes, under minus. Sub-zero. Sub -zero anything sure. under minus is you must cover it up, you must mm. heat it, and you must bring it to a minimum, minimum five degrees inside that and maintain that for at least 48 hours. Uh, yeah, yeah, that definitely that didn't happen. didn't happen. <sighs> well, we brought in uh, three pros that know how to do brick with their eyes closed. Wonderful. Do you like this stone over the other stone? Oh, it's very oh, close. Yeah, it's, yeah. Great. it's close to it, but I, I actually like really better. like the look. Yeah, I, like it I like it better too. Yeah. 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 It's a lot nicer finish and uh, just the quality of the work, though. It's all tight. Yeah. Looks and fantastic. best of all, there's no cracks. <laughs> there's no stones falling off. It's not going to leak. It's not, it's gonna not leak. going to fall off. No. Exactly. It's just the quality, the finish. It's just. It's just the way it should have been. It looks like a, the finish of a custom home yeah. now. And that's what we were wanting. And that's, you know, what we got now. And we didn't have that before. I meet with Kristen to discuss my plan to stain the exterior brick. I don't think too many people know you can stain your brick, which is actually different than painting your brick. When you paint, it will coat the brick. And then eventually, moisture's going to get in, it's going to peel, it's going to flake. Staining brick is a different process, isn't it? Exactly. It's designed to actually sink right into the brick where it literally crystallizes that allows the brick to continue to breathe. So by never trapping moisture, it's never gonna crack and peel and eventually fail like a paint would. I want this to be the one that's gonna stand out. When everyone drives by, they're gonna go, look at that house, I need to see it. So if the outside's beautiful, wait till they see the inside. <laughs> After looking at a few color options, I'm a fan of the deep earth. The brown tone will bring a warm richness to the exterior. I'm sold. I'm getting excited as this house is really starting to come together. Now that the weather is warming up, we're able to start staining the exterior brick with the color that I chose a few weeks ago. It looks stunning, gives that curb appeal from the road. My job here is that when people drive by, when we put that for sale sign up, they say, I want to see that house. Now, is this easy? No. These guys counted every single brick, believe it or not. There's over 18,500 bricks. I mean, there was a big storm outside, and we went to the front foyer, and I mean, there was huge, huge puddles. Uh, that's yeah. where the water's coming yeah. in? You see the holes in the brick at the top of the window? Yes. Yep. Okay, that's vent. We call that vent. As we drop down, you see the holes just above the flashing. Yep. yep. That is weeping. So we have vent holes, weeping holes within the brick, and that's to create that convectional airflow to dry out mm -hmm. the water that gets in behind the brick. 
The problem here is they have nothing really to stop the driving rain from going in those holes. And it's supposed to be flashed in and probably meet plastic, and they plastic that area, so when the water hits it, it comes out those holes. Your problem here, and more than likely everyone else on this street, it's getting in. Mm -hmm. You haven't found it yet. It's pretty bad when you're outside and you're driving someplace and then the rain hits and your first thought is, I need to get home and get the buckets out, I need to get home and get the towels out, I wonder if there's going to be water, isn't there going to be water, and then coming home and checking. On my right-hand side, I can clearly see that where the precast sill meets the brick, water has penetrated, frozen, broke the brick because it has cracked the brick, the mortar joint, and shifted the middle precast and the brick. Water penetration point for sure. Look at the cracks underneath that sill in the mortar. Again, it has gotten in at the joint of the precast. You can see how that sill goes up and down like this, wavy. It's gotten in, froze, and broke the brick. I'm telling you right now, I've got to pull the flashing, pull all the brick out to do an inspection, as well as repair it, because I know just by looking at it, I'm going to have to pull it. Then, where you can see it, they try to make the brick look better. But they still failed it because it's cracking and breaking everywhere. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's a significant leak, man. That's indicating it's coming right in this corner. It's this way, right? Like, look at how wet that mortar yeah. is, bud. Look at that. Like, that is saturated. That is saturated mortar. OK, what's your plan here? What do you want to do? What I'm going to do is we're going to hug that corner, make sure we're going to go to the extreme and make sure that uh, we solve that problem. This uh, brick flashing is sloped back in here mm -hmm. and creating a channel. So any, any driving rain or anything that's running on the wall here at all, I think it's co uh, collecting in here like a trough and running in at all the breathers. Okay. Bring this down. Bring it down. So that it's running away from. This, this flashing was not bent at the proper angle. It should always have a, a little slope away from the house. This is sloped in. We'll take them all down. Uh, put some new flashing on and we should be okay. Water leaks are some of the hardest leaks you can ever find. It could be a pinhole, it could be a one-inch gap. Think of all the work we've done to keep water out of this house. We've replaced all the sills on the front of the house. We've done all the caulking on the entire house. We replaced shingles, we replaced all the flashing. The last step we've done is an actual sealer. It's a brick and cement sealer, and it's a high-end sealer that will still allow the wall to breathe, but will actually give it a waterproof coating. I guarantee this homeowner will have no more water on in the inside of his house. I feel comfortable and confident that Mike and Damon and the crew have fixed everything, and it's great to see that we have our house back.